Dustin right here on how we're going to get to 100%. So today, I need you to go ahead, smash the like button so the YouTube algorithm can put me in front of new people so they can see new content and get closer and closer to being 100%. And along with that, if you would subscribe to the channel if you are new, and if you haven't, please turn on your post notifications so you know every time I post something so we can get closer and closer to 100%. So today, I want to go over the successful habits of millionaires. Everything that millionaires do that I've studied, I've read, and gain knowledge on highly successful people. What are their habits? What do they do before they become successful that help them get to success? Let's get right into it because we're gonna get 100% and I want you at the top. I've been moving kind of start no trouble with me. Trying to keep it peaceful is a struggle for me. Don't pull up at 6 a.m. and cuddle with me. You know how I like it when you love it on me. Okay, so the habits that millionaires have that have gotten them to where they are today. What we have to do is we have to focus on how they use their money when it comes in, when it goes out. So the number one most important thing that these millionaires have done, I've read it over and over and over again on people in their story, is they track their spending. They look at where their money's going, their credit cards, their bank accounts. They watch all their money leave the account and where it goes and why it goes there. And this is something that I struggle with being younger and jumping into the business world. I had to start looking at all my expenses, the real estate expenses, the food, okay? Every bill I had, I've analyzed and see where I can make an adjustment to save money here to put it into the business. Because if you don't have the money that you make work for you to make more money and you just spend that all on things that you just want, instant gratification is what it's called, then you're never gonna capitalize on the money that you're actually making from your job. That's why you hear sometimes somebody who worked at McDonald's is now a millionaire. Well, how in the world did they do that? Well, when they worked at McDonald's at that time in their life, they took the money that they saved and they made it and turned it into something. And you have to utilize that in this skill so you're able to jump to the next step in life. Every millionaire you've ever talked to has started somewhere, okay? And this is one of the first steps you can do is by watching your money. I look at my bank account and how much I owe in credit card debt every day. I want to know where the money's going and you have to make a change. I was spending almost $100 a week just on lunch just because it was convenient. As a real estate agent, you're running around all the time. It's not the most beneficial thing for you to make lunch every day, but I work out as well. So to eat cleaner so my body looks better and to save time so I don't have to go out and buy lunch and wait in lines or whatever the case may be for pickup. And to save money, I've now meal prepped. So now I meal prep chicken, rice, broccoli, whatever the case may be for the week. So then I don't have to worry about food. I don't have to worry about the money going out and I can utilize the money that I was spending in food, the hundred dollars a week and put that into the business. And now I can make more money so I can then get to the next step of my life to be able to invest in real estate, which is my main goal. So the, the first step, and probably the most important step out of all these habits of millionaires is to watch your money, to see where it goes when it's spent. And then change, make a change so that you can actually save the money. You need to have some type of saving account. You can't have one checking account and think you're gonna save all this money. You have to have some type of system to take the money that you make and save every time you get a paycheck. First step. Watch your money, watch where it goes. So the second thing is you wanna make sure that you're not budgeting for your wants, you're budgeting for your needs. So what I mean by that is what millionaires have done in their early years of success, the things that they did prior to success that helped them get to that big step in their life that they now are is 
budgeting for your needs and not your wants. You don't want to, that goes back to instant gratification. You don't want to buy something immediately just because you really want it. Like myself, I have an itch for extremely nice things. Louis Bellis, Gucci stuff. I love it. I can't get enough of it. But I have now become extremely frugal when it comes to buying these things. In my life, I now have to create some type of step in order for me to be allowed to buy these things in life. Do I have nice things like this and are they a waste of money? Absolutely. But in this life, you have to have a little bit, right? So if you work very hard a whole year and real estate busted your butt, well, that's okay if you've been thinking months and months and months on how to buy one of these things that have driven you to work so hard. But buying this stuff all the time to gratify yourself instantly is not something that's a goal, not something that you're working towards. So you want to make sure that you're only budgeting and you're being very, very, very frugal while you're working so hard to make this money so you're not blowing it on things that are never going to get you to the next level. Also, when I buy these things, I, may, I, I sit on them for months. I, I look for a deal. I never purchase at retail price ever because it doesn't make sense to me. And if I want it so bad, I'll look at different stores, different areas, different locations. If I want a Forgamo belt or whatever the case may be, and I'll make sure that when the time does come, one, I still want it, and two, I don't pay retail for it. And that's just the way I give myself a little bit of gratification when I've worked a lot or when I've sold a nice house or I had a great, great step in my life, whatever the case may be. But you can't buy that stuff all the time. Like I said, the lunches, you've have, you gotta pull back sometimes so that you can actually step forward. But these are the things that are going to make a difference now. I always get the question, what can I do now? What can you do now? Well, the ugly answer is exactly that. Change your lunch, change your spending habits, watch where your money goes. Because these are the number one things that seem to not be so important to everybody when it comes time to go out to the movies with your friend. Go out and have a good time because you've worked all week. It's very, very tough to make a transition, but this is something you can do to get closer to 100%. Because this is what the millionaires are doing, so this is what I'm doing. And this is what you're going to do as well, because we're going to get closer and closer to 100% no matter what we have to do. So another habit that millionaires always play by and I have utilized in my life and business is always act like you have no money. Zero dollars, okay? Act as if you're 100% broke all the time. And let me explain. So if you're paycheck to paycheck, if you run a business, no matter what the case may be, it doesn't matter what you do to make money. You have to have yourself set up to where when you do get paid, you immediately take the money from the paycheck or from whatever you got paid for and you put it into a savings account or an investment portfolio. No matter what the case may be, you need to act as if you never have money so that you constantly work your tail off to bring more money in the paycheck and put it into something else, the savings account, the investment portfolio, stocks, whatever the case may be. And you constantly, constantly invest only in yourself, only in things that can make you more money. And what that does psychologically is once you get your paycheck, let's say you have $1,000, you get your paycheck, okay? You have your expenses, you leave the amount of your expenses in the account. Maybe a couple hundred dollars more for whatever the case may be, gas, food, etc. Then you pay yourself. You put it into a savings account and you act like the money doesn't exist. You no longer have that money, you can't touch it, you can never look at it again. What happens then? You get another paycheck. You have your expenses, you have your little bit of money that you can use in case of anything that happens because life is crazy and you're saving and you get another check. And what happens is this savings account keeps growing. This keeps growing. Your investment keeps growing. And this is how you start growing as a person, as a financial planner for yourself. So look at your paycheck. Invest your money into your own savings account, into your own investments, and watch the 
pattern. Watch what happens because then you start saving and you see what goes on and then you're able to have money to invest into real estate, which would be my area because that's what I'm educated in or stocks. Maybe that's what you're looking into, looking to invest into, but you have to have some type of system to where you act like you have no money because you're putting into a savings account or an investment portfolio and you're constantly psychologically telling yourself that you have no money because your checking account doesn't have anything in it because you put it all to your savings account. Guys, these are things that millionaires do that have gotten them past this step in our lives. So these are things that we can also do to get past this step of our lives. Another habit that highly, highly successful people, millionaires do, they never invest in things that they don't fully understand. I see this so many times. Oh, do this drop shipping thing. It's going to be quick, slick. I mean, if it sounds too good to be true, nine times out of 10, almost 10 times out of 10, it is. You cannot sell a lifestyle. You can't sell these things that you just don't understand. Like cryptocurrency. I have no idea what it is, how it works. I only know that people post their sales by race cars and stuff all the time and try and sell you things that really you can't touch and they can't prove when I sit in front of them from my experience. Now, I don't know how deep it goes. I'm not very educated in it, so I'm not going to invest in it. There's nothing that would want me to take all my hard earned money and invest into cryptocurrency because I don't know it very much. I'm going to invest in real estate. I'm going to invest in a single family home, a triplex, duplex, or whatever the case may be. It's going to have a roof and a door for sure because that's what I know. That's what I've been studying for years. You have to invest in something that you're educated in, something that you know and are very, very confident in putting your money into. You can't just hire somebody or someone and hope, hope, hope that they're going to make money for you. Now, there's a lot of great investment groups out there. There's a lot of great investment firms out there. I'm sure if you do your research, you can find one, but there's obviously going to be what? A fee for finding that firm or investment company that they're going to take off the top ultimately eating into your profits and making you less money. You're going to be the best person to analyze the investment because you're going to be educated in it because what do millionaires do? They look and they do not invest in things that they don't know. They're educated in it, in it and they are going to invest only because they have extreme confidence and education in what they're investing in. And that's what we're going to do because we are going to be a hundred percent. All right. The last and final thing I'm going to leave you guys off with is do not try and time the market, whether it be a stock market, real estate market, whatever the case may be. Okay. Something that I've heard from millionaires over and over again is you must hold on to your investment. When things go down, do not sell. When things go up, do not sell. Buy more. When it's time to sell, you will know. When it's time to make those steps, you will know. But I, I don't know how many times I've heard, I'm going to wait till the market goes down. And you know what those same people say? They're going to wait till the market goes even further when the market's already down. I, I can't tell you how many times I hear, oh no, I'm going to wait for the market. I'm going to wait for the market. But you know what happens when the market's down? They come up with another excuse as to why they're not buying right now because interest rates are too high. There's just not a good deal out there. Things are crazy right now. Well, those same people run the same circle over and over and over again. Listen, the world is uncertain. Things are not, not very structured as much as you want them to be come the time of you ready to invest. There's always going to be a good investment out there. Go find it. Don't wait for the market because the market's not going to wait for you. We're going to get to 100%. Remember, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Turn your post notifications on because we are going to get to 100%.